Okay, here I've made several pairs of small little gloves. I have uh, two kiddos um, that are small. One is three and one is uh, one years old. Anyhow, there aren't gloves or their size sold in the market because their fingers are just too small because they've got little short fingers and chubby hands. And so I wanted um, these kids to have something right away to use. Um, with the fingertips so I just had to make them myself um, I'm not the greatest seamstress but they will work so first I make the, the glove and then on the back I will make it um, accessible for disabled um, children because it's hard to get their fingers inside gloves in the fingers it's hard enough for um, able-bodied children to put them in independently at that age so um, what you do is you make a C, uh, cut here and then just like this you'd make a cut right along there, um, add Velcro, the loop side, and add a flap there and there. Because I don't know exactly how fat around, wide around their um, hand is and their wrist. So this way they can adapt it. And so to put it in, open it all the way up, put their fingers in, close it up. And so these are considered accessible gloves for little guys. So on top of these I will put um, fingertip protectors on and I'll show you how that works. And here I have uh, 3D printed fingertip covers. Now I've looked for years for something like this and um, nothing came quite close to the actual thing that I needed. So um, my son, my oldest son, helped me modify some of the fingertip covers I found on the 3D printer website. So I made several for them. So these ones are going to be the wider and shorter in case uh, they don't need as long protection on their fingers. These are about the length of these fingers here. So how you would put them, to, and I have another set here. These are slightly different. These are for sturdier um, protection. That's if they have to chomp really hard on their fingertips. These are much um, stronger up here. So I'll show how they go on. Okay, first you make paper rods like that and insert it into the finger. And then you would choose the tip that you'd want. In this case, I'll try this. Place it over and then you would cover it with another fingertip and then sew it at the very bottom because you want this totally encased inside fabric in case if the child bites and then little fragments come off then it'd be completely contained inside the cloth. Um, I'm not anticipating it to break very much because it's made of TPU plastic and it's quite flexible um, and sturdy at the same time but you know with Lesh and I hand, it's uh, very difficult to predict how much a child will bite and how hard. And so this isn't meant to be like a 100% safe um, piece um, because with all things, things break down and wear down and um, I can't ever predict that. And, and so I use the most uh, safe piece um, um, filament I could find, which is TPU. Um, versus PLA which is harder. So anyhow these are not meant to be um, long-lasting. I mean obviously if it gets worn down you take it out of the, the glove and you put a new cap on. That's why I gave so many sets so that they could um, change it in and out whenever they need to. And again so I'll show you how that's done soon. Okay put the fingertip cover on and you just sew it like that all the way around. Okay, so I finished putting the tip covers on all of them, and it's not going to win any prizes for beauty, but it definitely is safe. I've done this for Davy throughout the years that he has worn gloves, and it's really protected him well. And he doesn't use these now because um, he went on to a different type of um, self-injury. So he uses mitts with special protective covers, which I'll show you that in the next video. But um, again, these are a little um, clumsy looking, but if you need your child to use his fingers um, 
rather than stay in a mitt or in a hard arm guard, which keeps their fingers from their mouths, but then also keeps their arms um, um, pretty static the whole day, which is not what I opted for. So anyhow, these are for the kiddos that want to still move their fingers and grab toys. I mean, you might not be able to grab toys very well because your fingers won't flex as much. Um, but again, safety is the priority here. So these um, tips will definitely protect them from biting down on their nails and their fingers. And um, yeah, and if you have a child that's over three, maybe four years old, you will find um, gloves their size on the market readily. But if you um, have little ones that don't have those sizes, I highly suggest you look online and try to find patterns for gloves and adapt it to their finger size. And again, these are all TPU um, printouts from 3D printer. And I have a 3D printer and I bought that just to make these things. Um, if anyone would like these, the files for this, um, you can email me. I'm sure you can find me on the web. And uh, my name on the web and you can contact me there on well, those that know Les Schneihan and, and are in the Les Schneihan community, I'm sure you can find me on Facebook. But I don't want to list it on here because this is using my son's um, Facebook account and YouTube account, which doesn't allow me to reveal that. And again, um, these files I can email to you and you can print them out on your own 3D printer or have them done um, at a 3D printing factory um, or website. Um, it's relatively inexpensive per filament. Um, but it does take a little bit of knowledge of 3D printing, which if it weren't for my son, oldest son, I wouldn't know how to do it either. So anyhow, this is the finished form, and I will finish making a set for the children. I will be sending these to, and uh, hope it all works well for them.